Hello everybody, my name is Simply Velka and first and foremost I want to thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully you decide to stay and subscribe and you can check out my other pick a card videos that I do or just my overall just general spiritual videos. And as you can tell from the title, I'm doing a pick a card for messages from your spirit guides. Now, I went on a whole rant the other week on why you should connect to your spirit guides in the first place. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link up here or over here, whichever direction it is. And you can check it out. I strongly suggest anyone to check it out because not, because not only do I think the video is just super educational, but it's also sassy and funny and just, I don't know. It's, it, I, I'm really proud of the video, so. So definitely check out that video after you're done, you're done getting your reading here, of course. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna go jump right into showing you guys the pile so you can pick your pile and we can get started with your reading. All right, everybody. So what I want you guys to do is to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out. And on your last deep breath in and out, I want you to open your eyes after you take your final breath out. And whatever pile you feel called to the most, whichever one pulled your attention to the most, that is the pile that is meant for you. And like always, I will always leave in the in the description box below and also as the pinned comment the time stands for each of the individual piles so pile number one is Labra a labradorite bracelet pile number two is a pyrite bracelet pile number th pile number three is a lapis bracelet and then pile number four is girl what is pile number four pile number four is a amethyst bracelet so yeah, guys, once you pick your pile, go to the comments below to find your timestamp for your pile and we can get your reading started. All right, people who chose pile number one, let's see what ha we have in store for your pile. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys, what messages your spirit guides have for you guys. All right, very interesting. Mm, I can already tell your spirit guides you guys in pile number one are is kind of addressing relationships for you guys relationships now when i say relationships i mean relationships just in terms of platonic or even just i mean obviously intim intimate as well because we do have the lover's card inverted but see i don't even want to see what <clears throat> what the lover's card represents i know a lot of people are going to instantly think it's just talking about um with a relationship right you usually think of lover's card as something romantic but because we have it paired with the moon card and the wheel of fortune you guys this is where it's kind of telling me this is kind of like the this trio right here from your spirit guide is telling me that they're trying to help you shift your mindset currently because right now uh the moon card really represents there's that there's more that's going on than meets the eye but also and that could be that would be it's information that would sway your decision sway your views on things but we have the lover's card in in reverse of course which simplifies or signifies rather that a decision needs to be made and there's a little, little bit of indecision so perhaps that um dealing with this person on top of the wheel of fortune as well so really right now i feel like you guys are in a situation where Whatever decision you make, it's going to greatly alter your living space right now. Well, I say living space, I guess for a lot of you guys, it's going to be living space, but just, but not even just like regard in regards to living space. This could be just for like a work environment. There's whatever, whatever your environment is now, whatever relationship that you have with people now, how it's going to pan out is really dependent on the information that you are trying to receive right now the information that you're missing that you're trying that you need to receive and i feel like this is where your spirit guide comes into play here that's where you know one of the beauties of connecting your spirit guide is like they can help you with this insight and i feel like for you guys as well like part of this problem like we, because we have the blue heron card and the blue heron card talks about making a stand for what it is that you believe in and do what feels right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others i feel like you guys in pile number one you guys i'm mm, i don't want to say you're easily manipulated but your decisions are easy i feel like there's a level pretty high level of codependency for you guys in pile number one and this is not a bad thing it just means you're a caring person right but i feel like for you guys you guys are for people that you care about you how your just the the decision that you guys make is going to be greatly swayed by those in your life that you allow that you have this trust into and so what the blue heron card really suggests and what your spirit guide is really trying to get across to you guys is that for you guys the because of this individual or individuals that are in, involved in your life right now 
there's a level of, you know, part of the part of the information that you guys might not be seeing or being receptive to right now is partially maybe because of the bias that you have for this individual that because, you know, when we we make excuses for people in our lives that we care about, if they're doing something wrong, we convince ourselves that there's not a problem there. Or really just because you don't even consider certain things happening to you or certain things being said to you because you hold them in a certain light and so really your spirit guide is trying to tell you to that it's just like hey like you need to make a stand and through making a stand through using your voice and through taking up space and making it be known of your wants and desires that's when these individuals are going to show the true reveal their, their true selves and this can be scary because well it can be perceived as scary because we do have the dagger card which talks about the fears worries and tense situations so that there is a level of where there's going to be confrontation right it's going to be a little bit of uncomfortable confrontation maybe you guys are not usually used to doing confrontation and this is something you're dreading but i feel like this is essential your spirit guide is really trying to make it known that this it's essential for you because we do have the full moon in Virgo, which is your spirit guide trying to tell you, it's just like, hey, you are good enough. You're worthy enough of having your desires, having your likes and wants and whatever be known, right? And I feel like through taking the stand, even though, yeah, you're going to be dealing with some confrontation, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable, really out of your comfort zone, really. Um, it's going to be a time of healing for you because we do have the balsamic moon. And I feel like this is kind of like breaking a chain for you guys, maybe this has always been like an issue for you guys in your past relationships and when, when I say again relationships and friendships and just how you treat the connections in your life it's going to you taking the stand is going to be a very pivotal moment for you yeah this whole experience is going to be just an extremely pivotal moment for you in terms of how you just handle your future relationships and just how you handle your current relationship with this person I don't feel as if it's going like you whatever your spirit guide is referencing right now whatever relationship this is referencing i don't feel as if it's going to just because there's going to be a level of confrontation i don't feel like if there's it's instantly like this friendship needs to end this connection needs to end i really don't feel like that's really the case for you guys you know i'm not here to tell you how to handle your friendships but <laughs> i'm just seeing from with with what the cards is there's nothing expressing to me that there's any kind of extremely negative energy coming from this individual maybe it's just a situation where you know there's a saying that that comes to mind that i feel like is really relevant relevant for you guys in pal number one is that we are constantly teaching other people how to treat us and so we can't really be resentful to individuals with how they treat us if we allow certain behaviors because if we allow certain behaviors if we make excuses for certain behaviors and we choose not to speak up when we're uncomfortable these people are going to learn these behaviors are going to be okay with you you know for example if someone calls you every single time at three o'clock in the morning and you always pick up and you don't complain you don't take a stand for what it is that you are feeling and be like hey i'm freaking tired they're going to assume it's okay and you're going to always be that friend that's always going to pick up at late at night or early in the morning right so you can't really resent the individual for that. And while you can perceive it like the action of something is a negative, the intent behind what the individual is doing is not negative per se. Maybe just like blissfully unaware, but not noth nothing trying to actively hurt you. Because we also have the Knight of Water. I really feel like if you, depending on how you guys handle really just allow this message to really guide you because we do have the hand card this is really your spirit guide currently trying to help guide you in this relationship because they really don't want this to come to an end i feel because the knight of water card talks about the need to balance emotions first and foremost so yeah how your emotional state during this and during this confrontation that you're going to have with this individual and letting yourself be you know like letting it be known that you are good enough and just taking this overall stand i feel like for you guys like there needs to be like that balance of emotions because if you have this confrontation with them from an aggressive way it's going to the conversation is just naturally going to be aggressive right so be very aware of like how you handle it you know this is partially why you want to look at the intent behind it like because as well we have the seven of coins i know i'm jumping all over but the seven of coins is just telling you to be happy with with just overall just being happy with what you have allowed in your garden really 
and just being thankful for that. And the Knight of Water, going back to the original uh, Knight, uh, card that I was talking about, really signifies just like a deepening of emotion as well, just like a deeper understanding and a deeper sense of your relationships and just how just an overall deep card, right? It's just truly just overall letting it be known that the relationships in your life are going to develop on a, on a deeper level emotionally, which is a beautiful thing. That's, I feel like this is all just very linked up that your spirit guide is just trying to help you go through a little bit of shadow work right now, right? And I through, I also want to just say that, you know, just through, like, naturally, I feel like this message kind of goes without saying, but we do have the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. I feel as if you're, you're seeking enlightenment or rather seeking a greater awareness of what's going on and a better understanding. Just connect with your spirit guide and they can help you make these decisions, help you balance out these emotions, right? You are not alone in this. This is really a, a mess, very strong message that your spirit guides are trying to come up with, like, get across to you is that you're absolutely not alone. I feel like maybe you guys feel a little bit isolated or like it's just you against the world and it's just truly not. Like you have good people in your life, you have people in your life, you have spirit guides in your life as well trying to help guide you. You have so many things working with you and it's just they're trying to like through seeing more of what's going on, having a broader spectrum on things, a broader view on things that's going to allow you to handle your emotions properly and to make proper decisions right we have the queen of air which which represents just like objective decision making clearing away that all all that no longer serves you so as well even if i you know i was talking about how like i don't see like a sense of finality for some of you guys with some of you guys as well like in other for other people in pal number one as well like when this moon card is just very much so just representative of like when you take a stand your moon this is where the moon card comes in it's just like you're it's really going to shine light on things of what you weren't aware of before so maybe with some people you're going to be aware of you're just like i don't like how this person's reacting to me trying to have like this nice confrontation with them just letting it be known that you're just taking a stand for what feels comfortable to you. For some of you, you're going to realize these behaviors that you don't like and you're just or going to start distancing yourself away from it. So just be very perceptive of what's going on and like paying attention to people's actions towards you, but also looking at the intent behind it. It's very strongly coming through that you guys need to look at the intent behind it and not internalize things. I really want you guys to think about this and you know overall your spirit guides are really trying to have it be known that there's nothing malevolent going on malintention like I, I don't feel as if you guys in pile number one have anyone out directly trying to hurt you it's really just people being people people being self-involved people just doing with what they know is best and, and just handling things with the information that you provide to them and how to treat you so yeah and then for you guys this last card we have the five of earth which talks about fear surrounding money the wisdom to accept help from others and uncertain self-employment so yeah i feel like for some of you guys this is you know maybe like talking about in the workplace and taking a stand for certain things and if you take this stand you have to be prepared for that like shift and so like that's part of why you need to think about like keeping that nice balance of emotions so when you make these decisions right the objective decision making on how you handle this situation you know you're making the best decision for you from the most level emotional place that you can be coming from during the situation and not allowing yourself to be upset when you're making this decision and also just the wisdom to accept help from other people i feel you know you don't have to do this alone like i feel like this is again like another card trying to bring you together this is just very much so like a unity card as well and just being like hey like you don't have to handle this situation alone you're not alone and this is just again another card emphasizing on you guys not being alone and just you know getting out of this I uh, like isolated mindset that you feel like you're in right now or lone, lone wolf rather perhaps as well situation that you feel like you're in you don't have to be the lone wolf pile number one and yeah that is the last card for you guys and the, the overall messages that i have for you guys in pile number one if this reading did resonate with you please let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you i would love to hear the feedback and, and the, if the reading did resonate with you i would love to, for you to give me a like and subscribe and could, because it does really help me out a lot but yeah overall i love you guys so much i really hope this brings you guys some clarity in pile number one Bye guys. All right, people in pile number two, let's see what cards we have going on for y'all's pile. 
All right, just laying out your cards right now. Again, Archangel Michael has just been really, whoever has been looking at my videos and receiving their pick of cards from me, y'all really need to connect with Archangel Michael because it's very not common for him to always be popping up, especially recently. So whoever needs to connect to Archangel Michael, please connect with him. <laughs> okay, jumping you guys into your guys' reading right now, a lot of intense cards, a lot of emotions right now, very much so. I feel like for you guys in pile number two, you guys are going through something. I, I mean, straight up, we have an intense card, Ten of Swords right here. Like, all these swords going behind someone's back right here. I feel like this is you. You guys are just going through, like, a dark time right now. Just overall, I feel like for you guys, you may people in pound number two you have like a little sense of uncertainty whether this is an uncertainty with like relationships whether this is an uncertainty with um work and money just or uncertainty with like your living space just an overall uncertainty in some aspect you might feel just like overwhelmed or you just like kind of like down in the dumps and just not happy with yourself right now and because you're just like, well, I don't want to say you're not happy with yourself. It's just an overall just you're not happy with the situation. So naturally, when you're in this kind of like potentially crappy situation for long enough, you start exuding the kings of wand and in inver inverted energy. I don't know why I can't speak right now, which, you know, with the ten of sword energy paired with the knight of earth, which talks about the need to buckle down and get things done and honor your commitments and guardian angel like again like for you guys like some of you a lot of you guys in pile number two like i feel like archangel michael is calling to you guys <laughs> like just very much so like there's someone like archangel michael is really trying to get someone's attention but continuing going back to the knight of earth originally paired with the ten of swords this these two cards this is really a time like Whatever uncertainty, uncertainty rather, and like where you guys are having issues in pile number two, your spirit guide is really trying to have it be known that it's time for you to commit to whatever it is that you're doing or to commit to whatever, well, not to whatever it is you're doing, but whatever it is you want to improve. So if it's like, if you're having an issues, issues with your relationships, it's time to really start committing and like having a game plan for handling that. If it's an issue with like lack of finances and just feeling like, uncertainty in the workplace you need to commit to a game plan for how you want to improve that for some people it's going to be like a vision board for other people it's whatever it is it's time for you to really start instead of just complaining about it start making an active game plan for for the now i also want to emphasize i feel like for some people in pile number two you guys like to think about in things in the long term and then which is fine and dandy but you need to also start start thinking about what's going on in the now what can you be doing in the now to change your life not making plans for something that's super long term because that means you're just going to be in your situation that you're not that you're being uncertain about for longer does that make sense so really your spirit guide is trying to be like hey it's perfectly okay to make plans but make, start making plans for the now instead of like in the future. The future will be there right now for whatever it is that you're not liking rather than continuing complaining about it. Let's start just start doing active steps towards changing it right now. Um, you know, we have the tulip card, which my cat's not with me right now, but that's her name. Um, the tulip card just represents great passion and just, you know, just having like this passion for it just... I feel like for you guys to really start changing and getting out of like this dark period that you guys might be going through right now in pile number two, you guys need to want to break through break through this dark time with a path, with something that you feel passionate about to where you really start altering your life and really, you know, just start doing big changes and breaking like patterns with you with things in your life that just no longer are serving your, you anymore. I feel like your spirit guide is trying to let you know that they're trying to set you up yeah, you guys are not seeing something. Your spirit guide is like setting up the perfect path for you guys in pile number two. And with the king of wands inverted, with, paired with the uh, falcon card, the falcon card represents act on the opportunity before you and commit to it without without question. It, this is really, you know, paired with the passion card as well, with the tulip card. This is really for you guys, like, your spirit guide is setting, like, essentially trying to hand, hand you a silver platter and you guys are not seeing it. You guys are not paying attention to the detail because you're so distracted with what's been going on right now. 
And with the Nine of Cups, this is like telling you not to settle. So even when I bring, when you see this message, when you hear this message, message, don't take the first good thing that you see happening in your life as like what you need to commit to right now. With the Nine of Cups representing not to settle, this is kind of like at your guide asking you to know your worth, you know, and just starting to make very positive changes in your life with the wheel card, Archangel Michael that I was talking about before, the need for you to start making a positive change and a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. Yeah, like once you guys are able to identify what it is your spirit guide is trying to actively give to you, that's when you, the growth is going to start happening for you guys. But, you know, this is kind of like more than just like a, this is a several step period for you guys because there is some stuff that you guys do have to overcome with your mindset. Um, I feel like for you, some of you guys in pile number two, do affairs with your family. Maybe this is like in regards to your family or maybe you have to break like family patterns, you know, that have got, just gone through the ages. Maybe like, you know, you grew up in a narcissistic family. You have to cut certain habits that like you developed when you, because you were growing up in a narcissistic family. Or, you know, for you guys in pile number two, I feel like you, there is like a level of gratefulness that needs to be exuded as well, because with the 10 of coins, this is really showing to me that like, there's so much going for you guys that you guys just aren't realizing. And it's kind of like an issue because it's, you guys are just like, potentially stuck in this like low, low vibrational mindset, which is understandable because you guys are just going through like a rough time, right? I don't want what I'm saying to come off as I'm down, trying to downplay what it is you guys are going through, but it could be a lot worse. And you, your situation only feels as bad as it is because you're not paying attention to the details of what your spirit guide is trying to set up for you. Um, so yeah, overall, like this, I feel like once you're able to acknowledge this and start going with the flow of where your spirit guide is trying to take you, that's when the magic really starts occurring. You know, the mutable moon, nothing is yet set in stone. This is something to constantly remind yourself that you're not stuck in this seemingly like situation that you are not going to take your, be able to take yourself out of in like anytime soon. Like things are definitely working in your favor. We have so many different cards right here um, talking about how things are going to be looking up, right? Like the six of air quite literally says the end of a difficult situation and things are looking up. The wheel card talking about needing the time for positive change. The falcon card um, paired with the tulip card and the knight of cups card. This is telling you like there's just a lot of good happening for you guys. A lot like truly once you're able to just like buckle down like truly I really want to like push again for you guys a lot of like even if you feel like before, like Archangel Michael just wouldn't be a good connection for you guys, I really wanna like strongly suggest for you guys in pile number two to just give it another chance potentially because Archangel Michael is really trying to make it known because as well, like the Knight of Earth talks about a guardian angel paired with the Michael card. And it's just, it's not, it's not a coincidence, but yeah, overall for you guys in pile number two, the message is for you guys is to know your worth, find your worth overall, Pay attention to the signs that your guides are trying to give you. Go with the flow with where your guides are trying to guide you guys to. And like, there's just so much good that's happening for you guys. The new moon in Sagittarius for your last card, luck is on your side. Like just an overall very positive things are happening for you guys in your life. It's just a matter of redirecting like where you're going in your life right now. Just like a slight shift for you guys, right? Just like opening your eyes and like taking a look around and like really realizing like how much your how much good is actually going on around you and like paying attention to the opportunities that your spirit guides are just trying to present to you guys. And so yeah, that's the messages that I have for you guys in pile number two. If this reading did resonate, I would love to hear about it. Let me know which card resonated with you and how. But yeah, I love you guys so much in pile number two. Bye. All right, people in pile number three, let's see what's going on for you guys. What messages your spirit guide? As for you guys. All right, just laying out your cards right now. Currently, okay. Mm. All right, you guys, so. All right, for you guys in pile number three, your spirit guides are really trying to help you break a cycle right now. And I feel like this is like a cycle that's very deep rooted something that's been like going on for you guys for a long time and i feel like it deals with like insecurities and just like 
self-doubt and through this insecurity and self-doubt this affects many different aspects of your relationship um and first and foremost before you get into like all of that i also want to point out your spirit guide um could be very much so coming to you guys through your dreams as like a younger woman or a younger man as well just overall just a younger individual individual of some kind so that's something to pay attention to but yeah going back to what i was talking about with y'all's insecurities um your spirit guide is really trying to address this with you guys because i feel like this is affecting you guys in a pretty strong way and if you don't go about addressing these insecurities it's going to start affecting your friendships and the relationships in your life and just your overall life and just not a not in the way that you want and because of this also deep-rooted insecurity like this has held you back and more than just like in terms of like your relationships in your life but also just like in your workplace and just like where you are currently in life and like where you want to be in life part of why you haven't gotten to where you need to be in life is because of this in deep-rooted insecurity that you haven't taken care of with yourself or maybe you feel like you've taken care of it i feel like you guys have made some ground on it but you guys haven't fully gotten over it, or at least maybe yeah no yeah you guys haven't fully gotten over it, fully just like detached from this part of you guys part of it we have the five of swords that i've been holding up for you guys and for a lot of you guys in pile number three your spirit guide is really trying to get you to take a step back and to revise your plan because with the five of sword paired with the seven of air you know the seven of air talks about the need to rev to rev uh the need to revise poor timing and and with the five of swords as well like this is representing that it's just like hey like you don't want to commit to this like whatever um i feel like your ego is really coming into play here like your ego and your insecurity when i say ego i, I don't mean in the sense of just like haha -ha, like better than you like ego like much i'm talk, speaking of the ego on a much deeper level and you i feel like I, yeah just overall like you guys right now um are not you guys need to divert where you're putting your energy i'm like really struggling with trying to figure out how exactly your spirit guys are trying to like frame this for you guys but yeah i feel like for you guys in pal number three your spirit guide is just trying to overall let you know that there just needs to be a shift in realloc reallocation of like where you're putting your energy and stopping like whatever it is in terms of like with your relationships i feel like maybe you guys are like cutting off people right now when you shouldn't be cutting them off or like just having issues with these people and just your spirit guide is really asking you to work through it with them and to really just mend these like relationships that you have with them for some people this mending may just be just being like catching up with friends that you just haven't connected to in a while but with other people maybe you just have to just admit to where admit to where like you did wrong and you know because we do have the new moon in virgo which is a time which says a time to give rather than take this is really a time for you to like swallow your pride i feel like people in pile number three your spirit guide is trying to say and to do what you need to do to put an end to whatever friction that you have in the relationships in your life because you don't want to put your energy right now this is such a high manifestation time for you guys and such a good time for you guys to create that you really want to reallocate your energies and so yeah because we have the tinker card as well which talks about celebration and fun with the three of cups all these cards right now this pairing of cards is really uh, emphasizing the need for you guys to just reconnect with your friends and just to remind yourselves why you're friends in the first place or why you're with this person in the first place really just being able to be practice gratitude and the friendships that you have and just be thankful for them and to make amends with them and then that way you can start shifting your energy into creating something and so yeah going on to your next section of like where your spirit guide is trying to have you really allocate your energy we have the nine of wands right here which signifies overall the need to make a decision but and funnily enough the nine of fire also represents the nine of um wands as well this is like a two-parter message this is why i was like struggling at first because this is like all these cards kind of like go together in a way and because we have the ace of air which is your spirit guides trying to let you know that overall what the second half of what this reading and your guides are trying to tell you is where you're reallocating your energy and it, it's really too creating it's really too focusing back on what it is like where you where your dreams lie right where like the bigger picture on things we have the waxing crescent moon talking about having faith in your dreams 
and the ace of air basically letting you know that this is going to be once you start allocating your energy to your dreams right um to the bigger picture to your long-term goals that you guys have in pile number three this is once you put more energy towards this instead of having to stress about the relationships in your life and you know having to put so much energy into trying to figure that out and putting all the stress on that once you're able to make amends with your the relationships in your life and you don't have to put as much energy into it and you can put all your energy into creating into your passions into the long-term business things of where like where you see yourself in like five ten years you're going to realize that that five to ten years is going to be fast forward yeah i feel like once you guys stop separating your energy and spacing your energy out towards such unnecessary things that you don't need to be truly need to be doing and really taking care of like your insecurity wherever however whatever your deep rooted stuff is going that, that's been going on with you guys that affects your other relationships once you take care of that and you can start just putting all your energy into the creative process that is when you're going to like everything's just going to come into play because for your last cards we have the camel card which talks about the that trusting that you have the resources to get you through the challenges before you paired with the card cardinal moon as well be bold and make the first move this is like with your other cards this is such a wonderful just spread to have when this is like the spread that you want to have when for whenever I would like give a, re a reading to a client and they want to hear about like their career and all this, this is the kind of spread that you would want to see because your acts, your spirit guides are telling you that in essence, like, you know, the spread is overall confirming that you guys are on the right path. It's just a matter of putting more energy into going down this career path, going down this creative process path that's going to elevate you in your future rather than splitting your energy up to instead of spreading your energy to this other to these other avenues that you don't need to be spending your energy into you know make amends with the relationships that you have right now be in a good place with your relationships so you no longer have to put energy into this and you can put all your energy into this creative process and really like jumpstart and really speed up the process of your abundance overall is what your spirit guide is trying to really get across to you guys so yeah just overall for you guys in pile number three just really really allocating where your energy is going where you're putting your energy rather and you guys just have a lot of greatness coming for you guys i'm so excited for you guys but yeah that is the cards that i have for you guys in pile number three if this reading did resonate let me know down in the comments below let me know which card resonated with you and how it resonated with you I would love to hear from you guys and if it did resonate please give me a like and subscribe it does help me out so much and i would love to have you guys join the family but until next time guys bye all right hello people in pile number four let's see what cards we have in your pile and see what your spirit guides have to say all right so all right the honeybee page of fire okay Wow. Wow. Okay. You guys in pile number four. Okay. All right. You guys in pile number four, you guys have a lot of positivity coming into your life right now. But also, like, I feel like for you guys, there's a lot of positive coming into your life in terms of finances and career. But then there's this other part of where you need to keep your mental and emotional in check because of the success coming to you or maybe even even paired with like the success comes to you after you get the your mental in check and i don't want to come to make it sound like you guys are not are like mentally off that's not what i mean at all <laughs> i feel like it's more so what i really mean by this is that your success you guys is directly linked to the level of comfort that you have with yourself and I can relate to this so heavily um I say this because we have the honeybee card which I feel like is very representative of like the energy that you need to have with yourself because this card talks about letting compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation I feel like this is what you, you need to practice more compassion for you got for yourselves really and no longer like constantly beat yourself up because you guys already have enough on your plate right now that you don't need to add more to it with self-deprecation with a bad relationship with yourself because you're always around yourself so you always want like of any relationship that you want the last relationship that you want to be bad is the one with yourself so 
Um, and then also we have the Grouse card, which this is very representative of like, this is like the key. This is like, no, not even the key. This is like, no, yeah, this is like the key to opening the door to your success because the Grouse card rep says to express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So really overall what this card represents is the through the com more comfortable that you are with yourself, the more that you're able to express yourself as unfiltered as possible. That is where your success is going to really start thriving. That is when you're going to start really allowing your creative juices start flowing. I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable saying creative juices right now, but that's where you're going to actively be able to start creating and start having success coming into your life once you just allow yourself to have this. And the only way that you're going to allow yourself to have this is if you view yourself with through the eyes of compassion, right? Part of why I feel like it's important for you guys to be or, like the most authentic version of yourself is because of the two of cup card inverted. I feel like this is like this person, like how you're acting right now, because like there is like a, <laughs> I don't want this to sound very confrontational, but what I'm trying to say is that pers the people that you want to attract in your life right now that could help you or elevate you or even being able to just like reach a wider audience, right? How you're acting right now is not going to get you to that level because like people can tell when like there is like a level of insecurity or when there's like a facade or like a mask on and if you're not being your true authentic self it it, can, it shows but i truly feel like once you guys start having like this nice balance because we do have the full moon in pisces the balance spirituality and practicality i feel like once you guys figure it out and start having a better relationship with yourself that's when like the abundance starts coming in that's when the opportunities start coming in, into place because the page of fire that's like the page of fire is very representative representative of this card quite literally says like news of an exciting new endeavor and the card also says to use your originality like quite literally like there's such a push for you guys to really embracing yourselves and really owning your creative talent and not speaking like just overall like you guys in pal number four your spirit guides are really trying to chastise you in some ways and that like the verbiage that you have with yourself is just greatly impacting your ability to succeed or yeah like your ability to succeed your ability to manifest because the there's just a level where you just need to have just an overall just yeah you guys in pal number four like there, you guys are like so close and I feel like you guys know that you're so close to having the success that you deserve and that you feel like you just have spent like all this time working on like you because like the four of fire talks about yeah like the completion of a project you guys are so close to this completion you guys are so close to you guys are just so close to your new start that like there's just like this final stuff that you just need to make with yourself and it's just truly just working on yourself and it's just like that's when you're going to just be honored for who it is that you are because it's impossible to honor you and to really appreciate you for who you are because you're just not you're coming at it from just such a filtered place like you guys is reading pal number four is just very straightforward from your spirit guides and that like you guys just need to start like i feel like you guys play yourself down a lot and maybe this is because you truly just feel this way about yourselves you feel like you truly feel like that you just are at a lesser level or maybe it makes you feel like a little bit uncomfortable for people to like put you on like a certain pedestal or to view you in any way than just who you are as a person because you know especially when you just act like yourself naturally you just represent like being your authentic self it can feel uncomfortable or weird when people make something bigger of it right or when people appreciate it like it's such an uncomfortable feeling initially right because especially if there is like a level of insecurity there already prior and you don't feel good about it 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 feels extremely weird when people appreciate it and you don't know how to react so for you guys in pile number four like <laughs> this is like your guys' reading is just extremely short because it's just like that's really all your cards are just very repetitive of is that just the neat like you guys are just so close to get, like, getting where it is that you desire that like, and I feel like for a lot of you guys in pile number four, you guys, a lot of you guys are like self-employed in some kind of way. I feel like, I also want to say, I also want to say I felt driven to, I kept seeing like a group of y'all. So maybe there's like more than one of you guys that are working on this project, which it would make sense, especially if you guys are self-employed. Maybe you guys 
are like a trio or like a quad. I, I don't know. I see a group of no more than six. Um, so yeah, that's just something that I wanted to note as well. But yeah, overall, guys, you get... <laughs> I almost feel bad because of how to the point your guys' reading is, but this is such a positive sign as well because it's just, this is very representative of like how close it is for you guys right now because this reading, your spirit guides are just speaking in the now. Like I always like to have my messages be like very, like speaking in the now or like very like near future because I like my readings to just help you give direction. And yeah, well, this is like, like right around the corner for you guys. Like I'm so excited for you guys in pile number four. For you guys that chose this because there's just so much good so much abundance so much high vibration just coming out for you guys and it's just literally the only thing holding yourself back, like holding you back is yourself and i feel like once you guys get this reading you guys are just going to be able to just address this and jump into it and really honestly overwhelmed by like this kind of energy that from this because it's just you guys are just such hard workers and I feel like, yeah, once you get this reading and, uh, and are receptive to it, you're going to jump into whatever that you need to do to balance yourself, finding that balance, accomplishing, accomplishing that balance rather. And then once you start developing a better relationship with yourself, that's when just, that's when your new start happens. That's when you're going to finally start being honored for the greatness that you are. Because once you start honoring yourself, that's when other people can start honoring it as well. Because people don't see it unless you see it in yourself first, right? So yeah, very wonderful reading for you guys in pile number four. I'm so excited and also like low-key jealous for you guys. Like, no, not jealous, but I'm just extremely happy for you guys. But that's the reading that I have for you guys in pile number four. If this reading did resonate with you, I would love to hear how it resonated with you. Which card resonated with you? And also just love to hear what projects you guys are working on if you are self-employed like let me know in the comments below and also if this reading did resonate with you please give me a like and subscribe that does help me out so much and i would love for you to join the family but until next time guys bye